my guess is uh, we, it, it's one of these things that's very uh, unpredictable, tipping point kind of thing. If we culturally decide that we're going to change ourselves, we will be unrecognizable in 100 years. And that's yeah. what scares us. Yeah. If we decide we're going to not do that, then we will be totally recognizable biologically, mm. but completely unrecognizable culturally, culturally. Yeah. Uh, because we we have this double standard where you can you can do radical surgery to the human inheritance uh -huh. as long as it doesn't involve DNA. <laughs> so in other words, you know, like my cell phone is is heritable. I've watched yeah. my daughter and her daughter yeah. uh, use cell phones yeah, that yeah, look yeah. just like mine. Yeah. And uh, on the other hand, they don't really look that much like me biologically. <laughs> I mean, and uh, so I think that that in a certain sense, our cultural evolution is going faster. Oh, sure, it's, it's uh, it goes horizontal yeah. better. In other words, if if I if I say something in this microphone yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, alluring, yeah. everybody will do it. You know, yeah. right? And yeah. uh, so I. I think a hundred years from now we're going to be unrecognizable on some in some major way, even if we still have exactly the same human genome distribution that we have today. It won't play out the same. But I mean, the reason I'm asking is it, it's quite possible, given the technologies that are have changed dramatically, even in the time I've known you, yeah. that we will be able to not only manipulate life, change life, and, and, and well, not only create new life forms, but maybe change what the meaning of, the very meaning of life in a biological sense. Right. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I don't know where it's heading, but... but we're I, changing I, the most fundamental parts of it. Whether yeah. or not we change the human part of it, we're changing. So we have a new set of, of DNA bases, RNA bases, pro, protein, amino acids, mm. They're, they're no longer limited to the original four and yeah. the original 20. Yeah. Um, so those are uh, the genetic code, which is one of the things that's conserved mm -hmm. uh, across all species it's, yeah. you know, with minor modification. Now we can change that arbitrarily. We can make any new genetic code we want. And so these are, these are the foundations. Uh, we're getting control of developmental biology so that it may be the the, the 3D printer of the future. Yeah. Right? Because instead of having one print head that doesn't scale well, yeah. you've got a trillion tr print heads. Yeah.